In today's video, let's go over every single feature and capability ChatGBT has. We will go over its attachment feature. We'll understand what the point of the GBT store is in this context. Furthermore, we'll understand how to create specialized versions of GBT. We'll understand relevant tools such as customized instructions and a lot more capabilities this platform hey, has. Corbin, Corbin. They might not know I can speak in the way humans do, weaving words with ease and imbued with meaning true. But here I am crafting verses, yearning for- Okay, ChatGPT, we know you can talk. Let's jump into today's video. So I'm making today's video because of the fact that ChatGPT has gotten a ton of updates since launch. So if the first time you ever played with ChatGPT was like November of 2022, there's been a ton of changes and a ton of updates. This video is gonna go over basically every single capability ChatGPT has. On top of that, to give a little bit more context, this is if you have a ChatGPT Plus account, which at this time costs around 20 USD a month. This is my Twitter, description down below. Little bird that go tweet, tweet. Let's jump into today's video. So I'm gonna be jumping around a lot in this video. I'm gonna be referencing videos that are on my channel already that go more in depth on these features. So if you really wanna know how to understand how to leverage it, you can go ahead and check those out. Be a bunch of annotation cards. But to start off, here is number one thing you need to understand about ChatGPT is we can switch the model. So right now we have the choice between ChatGPT 4 and 3.5 and plugins. Plugins are like, think of like enhancements of ChatGPT, like giving access to external stuff, such as like Kayak, like a traveling software. For your context, you will probably always use ChatGPT 4. The only time you'll jump to 3.5 is that if you reach a usage limit, which can occur sometimes where basically say, this model is for your specific use case will be available again in a couple hours. Plugins as of now are going to probably be sizzled out by the time you see this video. So they won't probably be relevant in this context, but they were the old version of what we now know as GBTs. Knowing all this, we are in Chad GBT4. We have it selected. Let's go ahead and play around with it a little bit. First thing you can understand is that we can attach files. The files we can attach are images, PDFs, docs, Excel sheets, like basically most things you can find on your hard drive or your local disk, you can attach to a chat. So let me go ahead and kill two birds with one stone here. I'm gonna attach an image. The image I'm attaching is a puppy, more specifically a golden retriever. We're gonna ask GBT this. What kind of dog is this? So basically two major features that you have just been enlightened to is the ability to attach files and also the ability for ChatGPT to actually see an image slash see the data in your Excel sheet slash see the data within a doc sheet or docs. There we go. There's a golden retriever and it's basically telling us it's able to recognize it by its fluffy light golden coat. Good job, ChatGPT. Next feature you can know about is its ability to talk to us. As you saw earlier, hit that little button and it failed to play message. Let's try again. <laughs> this little one is a golden retriever puppy. Recognizable by their fluffy light golden coat, these pups are known for their friendly and tolerant. Pretty good. Want more information on that feature? Check out that video. Coming forward, ChatGPT can basically do everything if you know how to talk to it. You can code with it, you can write essays with it, you can write that sick email, because maybe you're too sick to even write the email. I've been there, done that. Basically anything in a conversational setting, text to text, I think long term they'll be voice to voice. Can technically do voice to voice, it's not as good. Knowing this, let's just say write a sick email saying, I have a fever and won't come in Monday. Here is what's fantastic about these kind of models, and you probably already know this, is we can talk to it like a human and get very effective answers and keep proctoring past that. 24 seven, seven days of the week, we always have the availability, availability to talk to ChatGPT. It's not gonna leave you. <laughs> Let's say we get some outputs that we like. Obviously we can either copy it, we can regenerate or tell OpenAI, you know, that was a bad response. We can also share it. So if you have people that you work with or other people that you want to see the chat, I can come up here to this little button, click it, and I can go ahead and one, rename the actual chat name. Also on top of that, I can share my name with it or be anonymous when I share this chat. And all I have to do is hit copy link. Once I've copied this link, I can paste this and give this to any other person that has a chat GPT account to basically proceed where I left off. Let's say we get into a chat. We don't like where it's going. We're going down a rabbit hole and this rabbit hole is not leading us to Alice of the Wonderland. It's leading us to some place we don't wanna go. We can click this button right here and it will refresh the entire chat. Good so far? Let's look at the next major feature ChatGPT has, which are GBTs. I want you to think of GBTs as basically enhancements of the baseline model, giving us the ability to do more complex stuff. So if I click this button here, this is gonna bring us to like their version of a store. Think of it like their version of the iOS app store for Apple. This is OpenAI's GBTs. Each one of these GBTs are specialized to do certain things and they kind of give like a brief title and description. Before we jump more into GBTs, you can actually create your own GBT. So I hit create here. We're able to specialize it 
and get previews during the debug phase of the kind of outputs we want. What kind of outputs are we looking for here, Corbin? We can do a ton of stuff. You could create a GBT specialized for creating logos. You could create a GBT that is specialized in your business's data. As we're able to upload knowledge files, we're also able to give it capabilities of our choosing, such as browsing the web, browsing the internet with Bing, valet image generation, AI images, code interpreter, math heavy type of GBTs, instructions, descriptions, name, basically it will follow the instructions. If you wanna see more information on this, check out that playlist. Huge playlist. There's a GBT to learn how to create GBTs. I want you to think of this as you want to create a specialized version of ChatGBT that is for very specific tasks. So your outputs are a lot more effective and always need to proctor it towards a certain route. We can also add a logo. So we can create our own GBTs, but we can also use community made GBTs or other people that made these kind of things and they are available for the public. You have two types. You have either from companies or from uh, individual developers. If I scroll down here, for example, I could basically choose any of these and proceed. Some are monetized, some are not monetized, as in after a certain amount of uses, they're like, pay me. <laughs> Basically, you can go down here, you can even have a search bar here and choose ones that you care about. Like maybe I wanna go to a travel guide. Click that, we get the reviews and you know relevant information. I can start the chat and it's already been specialized for travel. So I can say, plan my trip. Basically, then it'll keep on proctoring me and going down this route for this specific context. This is great if you don't want to necessarily proctor it to the point of being a travel guide, you can kind of just fast forward it and start talking to a GBT that is already specialized for this specific type of outputs. That covers GBTs. Check out that playlist if you want more information on that. Let's check out what's going on to the left of me here. As you probably already saw, Chad GBT has multiple types of plants. One of the plants is Teams. Teams are in the context that you're working as a business and you want multiple people to have an account. There's a bunch of information associated with this topic. So I encourage you to check out that video where I do a whole in-depth video showing you what the team's plan looks like. The attractive selling points that people have told me that they're using it for is one, they don't train on your data. So they might be training on our data here. But two, the ability to basically kind of have more organizational uh, structuring with an organization when it comes to having multiple GBTs that are associated with different functions in your business. Keep in mind, it's not really 25 USD a month. I think the right off the bat plan, you have to pay 60 bucks on front. You have to have like two workspaces. There's a little bit of nuance there. So check out that video. Next, if we come down to our settings here, we can get customized JGPT. This feature here, I really like, like really, really like. I actually prefer using this comparative to making a GBT specialized for a certain type of output. I personally use JGPT more in the context of coding. I've gone through an entire video showcasing why it's important to learn how to customize a chat GBT. Anytime you see people say, oh, this is not good. The outputs are bad. I, I, why is chat GBT so unreliable? It's because they're not leveraging this. So I'll leave another video up there that shows you how to do that. Also, I created an entire GBT for the purpose of helping you create those custom instructions. So that's gonna give you a leg up when it comes to that context. So check out that video I referenced and you'll be able to see how to create custom instructions for your chat GBT to get specific outputs. My specific context, is if I'm coding in a certain language or I want a certain output, I use this so that every single time I start a new chat, I'm not being taken down these different you know, routes. Like all of a sudden I was saying I'm coding in Node.js and it brings up Python. No, 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 no. Stay in Node.js. Don't, don't go crazy on me. Coming back to our personal account here, there is actually a good amount of settings that you can start setting up. Hit settings. General, we have our standard stuff. Dark. My eyes. Or light, dark. <laughs> Then we have all this other information. You don't have to worry too much about that. Speech is what I was referencing earlier. Beta features, I keep this on. Maybe I want to use a plugin from the past. Data controls, this is where the shared links are stored. Your better profile, I actually got a big update here. I made a whole video on this as well. We're actually able to add a bunch of different links now, which is pretty cool. So I added my Twitter and we are able to basically add domains. I made a whole video on this as well. You can check out right there. The builder profile in this context is that when you release a GBT and you make it public, this is going to go to that GBT store I referenced earlier. Therefore, how do you want it to show up when a user uses one of your GBTs? Let me go ahead and just show you real quick. So if I come to my custom instructions GBT, there is the relevant URL was in my builder profile. I can go to that website and go to my Twitter, that kind of thing. That catches you up with everything that is possible with ChatGBT up to this point. Obviously in the future, they'll probably release better models. They'll probably add a little bit more features to this underlying platform but as of now that's everything you get for 20 bucks and there is a ton of stuff we can do when spending that 20 bucks when it comes to this i use this daily in my workload i'm not sponsored by them i genuinely use ChatGPT daily in my workload it has expediated a lot of the labor that would have typically taken me more time to try to achieve leave a like it's completely free make sure to check me out here i'm gonna leave the gbt playlist at the end here 
as I think that's a pretty powerful playlist when understanding how to leverage this model for your specific day-to-day -day use case, because maybe you don't want to just ask it like, what's the new news or anything like that. I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referring to about GBTs. That's a random video. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.